Since time immemorial, people have migrated across the vast regions of West Africa, such as the Kingdom of Ghana or the Empire of Mali. Younger and younger children, once the most protected segment of the population, now leave home on their own or are forced to do so by adults who exploit them. They flee poverty, political instability and war in search of a better education or to earn money. Their vulnerability is triple. They are children. They have no relative or legal representative to defend them. And they are migrants. Children in Senegal and Guinea-Bissau attend Quranic schools known as Daras. Some of the children live with their Quranic teachers, like those from Guinea-Bissau who study in Senegal. Alms offered by the local community are used to care for the students who are called Talibes. They beg for their food in order to develop stamina and humility. However, some teachers have perverted this traditional system in order to traffic and exploit the children. L'exploitation la plus visible, c'est par la mendicité. Les enfants qui sont dans la rue, euh, entre 2h et 5h de temps, hein, et soit même qui passent la nuit dans la rue, et qui sont soumis à une forme de traite, qui veut que ces enfants-là descendent chaque jour avec une somme précisée par le soi-disant euh, maître coranique, ou la personne qui l'exploite, en tout cas. Donc, euh, c'est des enfants aussi qui font du portage au niveau des marchés, au niveau des, des gares routières, mais également au niveau des quais de pêche. 
Tous les, tous les enfants qui sont dans les écoles coraniques ne sont pas exploités. Par contre, il faut dire que euh, euh, dans les écoles coraniques, en tout cas dans la région de Dakar, à la suite d'une cartographie qui a été faite par, le, par la cellule nationale de lutte contre la traite des personnes, euh, sur un échantillon de, de 50 000 talibés environ, euh, plus de 60% euh, sont obligés de, de manier euh, pour, le, pour, des, pour des tiers. correspond parfaitement à la définition de la traite parce qu'il y a un recoupement, il y a un transport, un hébergement et il y a exploitation à des fins économiques. West African countries have developed a program to protect and reintegrate young migrant victims of trafficking and exploitation. The six-step procedure begins with the identification of the child up to and including his reintegration. He then prepares a life project that is followed up by a social worker. The 2005 pilot project includes Senegal, Mali, and Guinea-Bissau. Ten years on, 15 ECOWAS countries plus Mauritania belong to the West African Network for the Protection of Children, known as the WAN. A local NGO in each country coordinates activities and works with those involved at the national level. In Guinea-Bissau, the NGO AMIC works hand-in-hand -hand with the governmental Women and Children Institute. In Senegal, Enda Jeunesse Action works with the government office for the rights to protection of children and vulnerable groups. The Réseau Afrique de l'Ouest for the protection of children has been created to raise all the contraintes that were linked to the past, to the identification, to the prise en charge, to the return des enfants, on est arrivé à simplifier les procédures, à partager les mêmes démarches et finalement à gagner beaucoup de temps. Coranic school students who flee exploitation, verbal and psychological violence, as well as physical abuse, often end up living in the streets. This is when social workers, law enforcement, juvenile courts, and or community organizations step in. The children are identified and sent to reception centers. Other mistreated children receive help by calling the emergency number 116. The WAN works in partnership with reception centers across Senegal. The child is brought in, protected, housed and fed, receives psychosocial support and participates in various activities such as religious training and drawing. When a child feels reassured at the reception center, he describes his personal experience to Modou Diop, the WAN caseworker in Senegal. An individual reinsertion program which takes the child's age and level of maturity into consideration is prepared discussed and defined together. The boys from Guinea-Bissau are very young, so they often return to school in their own village. A description of the child's family and village is sent to caseworker Almeida da Silva in Guinea-Bissau. Using this information, Mustafa finds the family to determine their ability to care for their child. In all the moments, we receive the children from Senegal to Guinea-Bissau. Then, our agents of Senegal, our partners who are in Senegal, send a list to Bissau for us to do a research. But I did a lot of work, so hard, Two days, I was on the train. I went to the bathroom and went to the house, and then I went to the bathroom and went to the bathroom for two or three days, and I went to the bathroom. Now, he said a lot, until the father said that when the child went to the bathroom, he never went to the bathroom. The Guinea-Bissau consulate issues a safe conduct pass for each child. The Guinea-Bissau consulate issues a safe conduct pass for each child. They are vaccinated against yellow fever and meningitis. 
taken to the barbers, and given clothes and some toiletry. Demba practices his dream profession, journalism. We arrive at the Enda Jeunesse Action Transit Center in Kolda, where we will spend the night. The social workers have a last discussion with the boys in Senegal. Hmm? The customs officers check our safe conduct passes and compliment us for returning the children to their families. The AMIC team welcomes us to Gabu. Laudulino, the WAN Guinea-Bissau coordinator, describes the official ceremony that reunited the children with their parents. On a commencé la cérémonie chez le gouverneur, donc c'était la cérémonie de la remise officielle impliquant les autorités du pays au niveau de la région notamment le représentant du gouverneur, la présidente de l'Institut Femmes Enfants, le chef euh, traditionnel au niveau de la région de Gabou, ce qu'on appelle vulgairement euh, règle, et certains leaders euh, religieux et les autres euh, institutions de l'État. Les parents aussi étaient représentés. Il y a un enfant aussi qui avait pris la parole pour parler au nom des enfants. Je suis 
We just had jungin de. When the dog barked, we tried jungin on. Carry ram, we just. Baba, you got to know go to along with the Senegal. We say now we carry ram, we just. What name? Eu vi que sinto que ele tem uma vontade enorme de nos ajudar. Mas eu vi que todos tinham um, os problemas quase eram comuns. Tínhamos problemas comuns porque não é fácil trabalhar no domínio da infância, sobretudo num contexto cultural como o nosso aqui na África. Nós acabamos de ver agora a vinda de 38 crianças talibês. Então foi com o apoio da RAO, por isso é que nós conseguimos isso, a SSI também. Après la cérémonie euh, officielle, euh, on est passé au tribunal pour faire la remise euh, formelle. C'est déjà un acte juridique qui montre l'engagement des AMIC et des RAO euh, pour soutenir le projet de réinsertion et le suivi de ces enfants. Les familles aussi engagent se concerne la garde de l'enfant pour que la, les enfants ne récidivent plus. Et aussi, le tribunal joue son rôle de gardien. Si jamais dans les missions de suivi qu'on réalise, on constate que l'enfant est reparti au Sénégal et les parents sont convoqués, jugés et peuvent vraiment être condamnés parce que la Guinée-Bissau a une loi donc qui incrimine la traite des personnes, notamment des, 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 des femmes et des, des enfants. Mamam Samba knows all about exploited children in Senegal. He was one of them. He is a student nurse and member of Binegi Sao's Association of Children and Young Workers. He speaks with the children about their abuse in Senegal. <laughs> Como é que se diz? Viver na família, conhecer a família, conhecer a realidade da família. Estudar no país, para mim, é aquilo que é privilégio. Conhecer a cultura, saber como é que lidam as pessoas aqui, para mim, é isso é que abona muito na sociedade guineense. The children return home after the ceremony. Most of them left their village two or three years ago. Madiu lives in Sintiam Basiru, 35 kilometers from Gabu. Laudolino accompanies him. Once the family has been found, Laudolino informs the villagers about the risks involved in sending their children to Senegal without assurance they will be properly cared for. Despite informing them about the risk of abuse and exploitation, some people have ideas about child education that threaten the rights of the child.
wona min tal wadu am en ke ta isu ko won tan chuka yel joni san wi ama tan yahi hira de wala dubi di hi wi ama ano yowni ne ne ma wi amino yowni ano yowni ba ma wi amino yowni wobbe ko non jaara ha santi di ho ko wi de gandal ko ko kangi kangi kala no neddo de hebara kangi ko seeda mi ma yahi kangi enen bada laborato enen dema chopa ba bululi inata e gema inata e kirema inata e kuru kama kuma ha kebo ya andi gawul nyama andi na wala ko marma nyama dum ka ta kire wadi ismaila and another boy called demba returned to hamdalai basum their village in bafata province amic community worker adama awa jalo accompanies them she knows the villagers well Ismaila's mother didn't want her son to go to synagogue. Now that Ismaila is home, we are going to Demba's. His uncle speaks to us about the problems in the community. The WAN supports community agricultural projects to counterbalance poverty and limit the potential risks involved with migration. Families' ability to protect their children is reinforced, on the one hand by developing their means of livelihood, and on the other by ensuring their children a real perspective for the future. En Guinée-Bissau, je ne sais pas, peut-être, compte tenu de la vulnérabilité des, des enfants, compte tenu que l'absence de services sociaux, de base dans nos communautés, la pauvreté, ça nous a fait réfléchir ensemble pour trouver des alternatives locales. Ils ont la terre, ils ont tout, ils sont disponibles, ils disent oui, nous sommes d'accord, à la condition que vous nous aidez donc, à organiser nos activités les techniques, les matériaux agricoles. Ce que nous avons apporté, d'abord, donc, c'est l'organisation à travers un comité de, de gestion et de surveillance. On a fait la formation sur les droits de l'enfant, sur les, les techniques de maraîchage écologique. La, le troisième volet de la formation, c'est sur la comptabilité et gestion des bas. Your mama jom ala velo, go car jom transporti, temdere, 
gita don chapan na biya don hilo nanga jungo mahe keba ko pagoda tendere ne den ko pasa zin jahare gasare o ahatane ja gimina ro bura ro no minni ni imino ro bura ro kale zi am bono fisi ambo mi sode yelo ni okki wa bitte jango do sesta kila suka debbo ko yari bambadinka hamdallah através daqui e depositamos no cofre compramos um treino de 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 1 hectare para tentar semear como outros frutos como a manga, o caju, o limão, a laranja. Nesse nesse trabalho da horta depende depende das mulheres e dos homens que estão na horta, porque a escola própria depende daqui. E tiramos lá o dinheiro para tentar avançar o professor. Mas aqui não há condição para matricular a quantidade dos alunos. Okay. E até aquele carteiras também. E aqui senta quase 4 4 Veja, 4 4 Com a criança é preciso sentar 3 3 dá um carteira. Mas nós sempre estamos aqui para lutar com o bem-estar da comunidade. To prevent an exodus of children to Senegal, the villagers decided to pool their money together to offer their children a religious education. Nós temos aqui 65 mulheres. Todos não estão de acordo. Agora nós estamos, através deste projeto da horticultura aqui, nós estamos na procura de uma escola para uh, procurarmos um professor, uh, ou dois, que uh, nós próprios, o, o projeto daqui da horticultura pode reembolsar o, o dinheiro próprio no cofre para, para pagar o professor para tentar dar as aulas em Corânico. It is not easy for children who have spent years in Senegal to readjust to school. Crianças que foram lá não perceberam nada, nem crioulo, nem português. E agora, para pôr aquela criança perceber como é que nós estamos a aplicar aqui, é muito difícil. In spite of this, they work hard and obtain very good results. Through the joint efforts of the community and help from the WAN, Demba and Ismaila will join the village children when class begins in October. Perhaps one day, they will become a police officer, a journalist, or a farmer.